Now, um, one dash two, that's subdivision modeling with Weaverbird. Um, here we just modeled this component together. If you would like to have uh, your own uh, kind of copy of that, the file one dash one is saved in Rhino 4 format so everybody can use it. And you can see that components right here for you to, uh, to reference if you uh, had any trouble building yours out or if you'd just like to use the one that um, I'm using, here it is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this guy. So I'm going to go to Open and Subdivision Modeling with Weaverbird. And again, here are the, the, the way that the files are going to look. Uh, we're going to build it all together from scratch. Again, this is our mesh primitive. And here you can see the smooth version of our mesh primitive, okay, which is right here. Now I'm going to leave this open momentarily um, while we go back and uh, kind of unpack this a little bit. So the basic idea behind a mesh primitive to subdivision component or subdivision surface is that you can begin to model at a low resolution and use the subdivision smoothing um, as a way to more finely articulate or refine uh, your original primitive. So subdivision modeling is a form of modeling or a kind of method of modeling um, where you take a subdivision surface, okay, that's a, a method of representing a smooth surface via the specification of a coarser um, linear polygon mesh or polygon primitive, mm -hmm. mesh primitive. And through a series of smoothing levels or smoothing uh, operations, which are indicated by the level of smoothing, you are able to approximate a smooth surface. Okay, so when, when I say uh, subdivision surface, this isn't a NURBS surface. Okay? This is a, um, sur surface is the term that's used to describe the, uh, the uh, result of geometry. Um, but the idea is that it's, it's a way of taking a primitive and through a level of refinements or smoothing operations, um, approximate a surface. Okay, so here you can see on the left, uh, the coarse mesh. Um, again, this is what I'll be referring to as our mesh primitive. Um, level one smoothing, two, three, and four. So here you can see, right, the um, bounding box or kind of reference of the original mesh primitive. And interior to that, you can see um, the refined subdivision surface. Now, there are multiple methods of mesh refinement. Um, again, I'm going to call this smoothing. Uh, that's kind of uh, layman terms, I guess you could say. Uh, but common subdivision types are Catmull Clark, constant quads, and loop. Now, the various levels, again, indicate how smooth a mesh is refined. And this is where Weaverbird comes in. Because Weaverbird is a topological modeler that contains many of the known subdivision and transformation operators that are readily used um, today by designers. Um, if you're familiar with modeling in Maya, Houdini, Max, uh, Alias, Softimage, any of these, they all have a form of subdivision modeling uh, embedded in, in, in the, their tool set already. But Weaverbird extends the usability of Grasshopper to, uh, to now include that. And so you can download it again uh, here at the, the top link. Um, and it contains, on the left, you can see a number of interesting components. This is not all of them, but some of them. Uh, we'll be looking at Catmull Clark. We'll be looking at Constant Quad, Loop Smoothing. We'll also be looking at frames, uh, picture frames, windows, and thickening techniques. And the three smoothing uh, algorithms that we'll be, again, looking at are Camel Clark, uh, Constant Quads, and Loop Smoothing. So let's just take a look at um, the differences here using the reference file. Now, one of the things that we have also started to do in all of our files is embed these nice little drop-down menus. Um, these will allow you to quickly choose between multiple streams of data to be able to isolate or filter the one that you're wanting to, um, to look at here. 
from subdivision type, let's try constant quads. You'll see the constant quads, right? It, it changed the smoothing slightly. If I go to loop, you'll see that loop will um, create triangle subdivisions. If I go back to Catmull Clark and I change the smoothing level, you can see that that's two levels of refinement, one level of refinement, right? There's no zero. Uh, zero would be the original mesh. Uh, so one, two, and three. And how you would like to treat the corners of the mesh. Would you like them to be smooth, fixed, or only fix the corners? So there's a lot of really great um, options here that you can use um, right out of the bag, uh, right out of the box uh, with Weaver Bird.